Hello guys, welcome to the Flying Automation channel. In this video, we will learn about regex. Regex means regular expression. So we'll see how to use regular expression in UiPath. And also we'll see the one use case that is how to extract mail ID from uh, long input data like uh, a spreadsheet database using regex. So let's go to the UiPath and we'll see this use case. For the time saving, I have already created a, a small program uh, for using regular expression. We'll extract the mail ID. We'll show you and explain you how it's work. So you we have seen you have seen this uh, my screen. We have already created here program. You see the program here. So as you can see here, I'm using the first is assign our uh, assign activity. So in this activity, we have uh, using the in the assign activity we are assigning some uh, uh, complex data like dump data so if you have a, a like a text file then you all uh, then you need to read that text file and uh, store it in the one database so for that i am uh, here i am saving uh, directly here uh, saving this uh, data in the one variable that is a, uh, our text variable so if you have a, a, this data in the uh, any text file so you can firstly read the text file and I store that uh, data in the one variable. So here I'm uh, storing that data, input data. Okay. So only use only the assign activity and uh, create a one variable and write the input data. So in, in the input data, I have written uh, my email ID is the flying automation at gmail.com. So this is the uh, simplest text. So you can uh, take a long text as well, uh, like one paragraph and uh, many paragraph. So you can test on the other data. So I'm uh, showing in the only simple data. Okay, so you you, uh, you see the the input data. So in this data, I wanted to accept the mail ID only. So this is a long uh, input like my email ID is flying automation or the flying automation at gmail.com. So in this data, I only want to accept the username like the username is the flying automation and the whole Gmail is the flying automation at the rate gmail.com. So uh, we are trying to extract both Gmail ID as well and the username as well. So how can we do that? We'll explain in the next. So after that, you, you can see the uh, one yeah, we are using the activities is match activities. So you can search in the activities and here you can search is match. You can see here this this activity using here and in this activity, you go to the property section and see here the input and the param, uh, pattern and the regex option three uh, input is required so in the input you can write the variable name that we have assigned above and the pattern this is the uh, main part of the regex so how to uh, how to make the pattern so here i'm uh, i have already written the pattern for extracting the gmail so I will show you also how to make the expression, regular expression, how to make the regular expression. Okay. So here I'm using the regular expression in the pattern section and the regex option I have here using the ignore case. Okay. So you have a multiple say uh, option like a multi multi line, explicit capture, com completed, uh, single line. So this is a, a, a regex option. So we are using here the only ignore case. Ignore case, it means you have a, a large amount of uh, multiple things are matching with this regular expression. So matching expression, uh, matching expression take as a, a output and the other piece, other things, uh, data will ignore. That's why we are using the ignore case. Okay. So now our result will, uh, our result are stored in the variable is a found variable. So here you are using the uh, is match. Each match is a like a, a condition. Uh, its output is a boolean, true or false. If match, then provide yes, true. And if uh, regression doesn't match, then provide the false. So this output are stored in the this variable, found variable. Okay. So after that, here uh, we are using the if condition in the if condition we are using here the if found found will come in the output if uh, like condition is true then we are doing some 
other activities okay so if uh, not found then we will do nothing okay so if the in the fault condition we are nothing doing here in the in the true condition we are uh, doing some other activity that is uh, we'll explain you so in the true case we are using the uh, another activity that is a matches matches activities so in these activities go to the property section we'll see here also is the uh, three input parameter like the input pattern and regex option so you can see all three are the same in the previous only here the here using the ignore case and also is a compiled okay and after that the this output will be stored in the result in the result section you can see the match found list so output will be always stored in the list format like a, a multiple matches are coming so that's why uh, its output in the list format like if you have a two matches so the output is two so that's why we are using in the list so in the list both value are available for the list uh, we are here uh, printing the uh, value using message box activities so match found list and the zero index value so first uh, zero index means the first value we are picking here and printing the out message box so after that here we after that we are using the activity the replace activities in the replace activities uh, we are doing uh, we are replacing some data like uh, uh, here we are doing uh, like we are extracted in the uh, uh, gmail gmail id like the flying automation.com so we wanted i wanted to here uh, replace the dot com with the a space and only we wanted the username so that's we are doing here in replace activity so you can see here uh, in the input we have uh, provided the uh, this uh, output previous activity output in the, uh, we are providing as, the, as a input in the pattern you can see here i am providing the at gmail.com at yahoo.com and the xyz whatever you uh, want to replace here so replace with the a space so in the uh, in the regex option we are using here the ignore and compile okay and after that uh, the, this output will be stored in the final data and final data will be printing in the message box so i hope you uh, understand all the activities here so firstly uh, we'll not uh, not tell you how to uh, make the regex regular expression okay so in the in the math section you can see here we are using the this expression using this expression so how can we uh, analyze this is the correct expression and how can analyze the how to uh, uh, make the pattern of uh, get any particular data okay so let's go to the one website is a uh, regex101.com this is a website to test your regex expression okay so we have provided here the this the uh, dump this is a dump data you can see here i am writing the another as well another things as well and whatever you this is a uh, you can write anything in the in this paragraph and in this paragraph we wanted to uh, extract the specific email id so for that we have already written here the regular expression so i will describe you the uh, how to write the regular expression okay so firstly uh, we'll delete all the regular expression here okay so this is empty so now we can start how to make the regular expression so firstly you need to take the one bracket in the bracket we, we are using the this bracket big bracket and in this we are using a to z and after that a to z and after that 0 to 9 and it means we are considering uh, a small alphabetical uh, letters and the capital uh, letters and the 0 to 9 letters here considering after that we are using underscore slash hyphen slash dot okay this is a Return. and after that 
we are using here plus here okay and after that use at the rate so you can see here our the this match is showing the uh, highlighting these things okay so now we wanted to after that the rate we wanted to get the gmail okay so same as it did i am copying this pattern and pasting after this so now you can see here the gmail also consenting and dot will be also considering so for that here we need to write slash dot slash dot bracket in the bracket wide a to z a to z okay and after that wording 2 comma 3 so now the our regular question will be completed so for this we are extracting all the uh, gmail format gmail data okay so if you want to hear like providing the like two to three so it means here in the com com three letter are coming that's why i'm here providing the three if i'm here providing the five it will also work like but here you can write the here other thing are coming then also capturing that things that's why i'm providing the three so it means here only consider the dot com not the ert so i hope you understand how to make the regular expression so copy this regular expression and paste in the ui path pattern okay so then we'll uh, run this program and we'll see the output how it's work so firstly we'll uh, see the we are extracting the whole gmail id uh, the flying automation at the gmail.com so in this message box showing that the whole gmail id and after that uh, replacing the uh, gmail.com then we will get the username only the flying automation only so control s and run this flow so you can see here the the flying automation at the gmail.com is extracting and after run uh, the flying automation are only coming this is the username uh, after the replacing the gmail.com so i hope you understand the regular expression how to uh, make the regular expression and how to use the regular expression in the ui path and also understand we you understand the activities replace activities and the is match and match activities in the ui path so if you have any query please write your query in the comment section we'll provide the solution uh, that's it for today we'll meet in the next video thanks for watching this video